can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? You haven't lost a beat! <laughs> hey, Mac. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I love, I love those moments. The the scenic just sit or sit and listen to the characters' thoughts. It's a nice like slow pacing thing, you know. Did I do the look? I could spend hours I did, yes. sitting here. Maybe I will. How very small town. Yeah. Time for spring cleaning. Make sure to give your gutters some love too. Hmm. Family portraits. There's a phone number there. Uh, I was saying something. I don't remember what the, the context of it was. There's also a picture of the mines there. Interesting. Uh, after reading through her... Uh, like her diary and her text messages and whatever. It's very see easy to see that she would be guarded against uh, whether it's making friends or men or whatever. So okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. Definitely gave us an insight on her character. I'm detecting an indie pattern. <laughs> Okay, a uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. Give it to you. Color me impressed. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> let's see. I looked at that one already. Um, we're gonna pet the cat right now. Wait. I wonder why that's not working on him. Hmm. Oh. Um, we're gonna... Should we look around first? He seems cool. For a tree cop. For a tree cop. Uh, let's look, let's just continue looking around first. Um, yeah, Firewalker. That's the, that's the band that Chloe likes. They had a, they had some great songs, though. Hi. Wait. Is that the hold list? Oh, we're not moving the cat. We're not moving the cat. That's... You couldn't have curled up. I don't know. Literally anywhere else. But of course not. Because cats only need to sit exactly where you need them to sit. You couldn't have curled up. I don't know. I love Literally him. Literally anywhere else. I love him. <laughs> We're not moving the cat. <laughs> Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> Yikes. Spring forest, spring fest de decorations. I wonder what the date is today. I don't remember. Um, okay. Oh, I thought I saw something up there. Books. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. <gasps> cat bowl. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Can I actually fill up the cat bowl instead of uh, <laughs> moving the cat? I love that this town has their own radio station. I love that she's also just, she's just, ha she's having a great time. She's living her best life. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Hmm. Meow. How do you, how does one sprint? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Yo. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Um. I'll, so I'll speak to him last before I. Clarinet. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. 
How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? <laughs> Made in Poland in the 1930s, this clarinet belonged to Igor Sebeski, a renowned clarinet clarinetist and survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947, where he found Sobey's music, an importer of fine instruments from all over the world. Igor eventually retired to Haven Springs, where his generous donations still f still fund R KRCT, Haven's own independent radio station. Cool. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. <laughs> I love it, though. Demos. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. <laughs> Maybe one day, Alex. It's been so long since I've played. Hmm. I wonder why. She- I didn't see- it. I didn't look like she had a guitar with her. Steph's touch. Oh, Steph's touch and die. Alright. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? No, I was thinking that too. I just wasn't gonna say it. Just don't do it hard. Don't Are do it. You trying to die? I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, no, all you needed was just the, this actual have consequences. <laughs> Immediate panic. All right, we'll talk to them now and then we'll go move the cat. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Oh. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but she can be kind of a mess. Hmm. Alright, good talk. So can't. I wonder if I could do it to Steph. Hold on. Let's look. Nope. That's chill. Um, okay, let's get you some food, kitty. Valkyrie. Fuck. That's one badass cat name. That is a. Ah, oh, shit. She has food already. I don't want to move her. This is so sad. I'm so sorry. I love you. I'm so sorry. Don't freak out. She's going to swat at you. Sorry. Okay, right. Just kidding. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. <laughs> Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. Toy? If we can find it. Uh, Give me a hand. Oh. For sure. <laughs> Look. Looks like Ryan might need some help finding that toy. Help. I, l I love I that you could just look. Cat toy. <laughs> first. Not yet. Um. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I. <laughs> Banjo dubstep or acapella screamo? <laughs> uh, hmm. Banjo dubstep. Step sounds hilarious to me. I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Yep. Isn't that an oxymoron? <laughs> this... Isn't all great music? <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Ah, uh, for sure. Well, that's going to have money in it. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. A good place for toy safekeeping. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Uh, look at that. Maybe that drawer? I don't know. It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. <laughs> Nothing. Nope. Well, I can't... Ah, I see. It's probably gonna be in there. I... I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble if I look in here, but... Well, look. Looks like a toy could live here. Uh, you should ask before doing things. What if... He exclusively listens to Smash Mouth. Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. <laughs> I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Stickers. Uh, 
shelf. It's up here. Why would the cat toy be on? You can check the register. Don't. Okay. But what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. <laughs> yeah. And sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> mm. Alas. No toy. Can't imagine paying 50 bucks for coffee. <laughs> Thing better cure me of all my problems. Shelves are meant for holding things. I mean, right? he, he's literally looking at it. What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? <laughs> at least that'd be ironic. Uh... No toy to be seen. All right. Got one more thing. Check Prime box. cat toy real estate. Yep, which is why we saved it for last. Let's see if it assuming Maybe it's in there. Junk box. I see a thing with possible feathers on it. Ah. And we have a winner. Aha. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Be safe out there. Oh if god. I die a horrible cat related death. Tell Gabe I'm sorry. Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hello, Valkyrie. You couldn't Valkyrie. Have curled up. I don't know. I didn't mean to press look. Literally, I didn't mean to press look. Else. Lore. You want a toy? <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? Definitely not you. <laughs> I love her. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the <laughs> woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Let's see. Gabe Chen, tiny blue bot. Cool. Steph, narrow, narrow pathers. Cast grooves, wild air, groves. Jed Lucian, the guy with the face. Okay. Steph, grade school group project. Gabe Chen, Kings of Le Leon. Oh, I see. Pick up date. Okay, so he hasn't picked it up yet. Looks like Steph has one too that she hasn't picked up yet either. Should have known. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Free drinks tonight at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. What the hell is wrong with you, kid? There most certainly are not. <laughs> it's too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Getting lit for free. Just try it. <laughs> Can confirm. Alex is great. Can't confirm how she turned out so well and you turned out so... You. It's a nature nurture thing. <laughs> I loved that. That was perfect. Um, nothing else, right? Cool. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen but to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but he's also a dork. <laughs> can't, <laughs> can't use that as ammunition if he's also a dork. <laughs> Just say dork. <laughs> he acted uh, cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. Happy to help. All right, you're looking at 20 even. I was about to say, like, do you? Ha do we have money? Uh oh. No, no way! I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Oh Come no! Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just... No, dude! I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> Is 
It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you uh -huh. ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. Uh -huh. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. Oh, that immediately, I love him. <laughs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Oh, I like. He noticed she was uncomfortable. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Are you okay? Oh. To be honest, he. It's not like you hit it very well. Better now. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. So I wonder what happens. You got it. No. Yeah. Hey. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Sorry. Right. Things went well with oh, Charlotte. I did nothing. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, you guys, you guys look suspicious. My favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Nothing. Uh, talking about birds. <laughs> Can I say talking about birds? I don't. Uh, look, I'm. I'm always. I'm always nervous that so, like if he tells me something or like if uh, he wouldn't have told a stranger if it was like a secret, right? So it'd be. Uh, talking about birds. You know, <laughs> talking about bird calls, and bird call related media. He this guy really loves his birds. He likes birds. Guilty. <laughs> you know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Hey! Fuck off! Anyway, I'm glad <laughs> you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best uh -huh. guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> That's it. That's all you got to your personality. By the way... I had to think. Mac was in here earlier. Hold on. Mac. Ooh. Hey, S hey, Alex, it's Steph. Sorry to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the lantern at the lantern tonight. You too. How did you... How did you get my number? <laughs> All right, for sure. And, uh... He <laughs> really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Uh -oh. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Thank you. Oh, I like him a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shout out that guy. Ryan. That's his name, right? Shout out Ryan. He's actually he's he's my favorite so far. <laughs> I haven't met anyone else, but he's just wholesome. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. You should tell him. Can I tell him? Can someone tell him? I want to tell someone. I don't. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Fuck. Hey. One week to the LARP. You stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. No, we got to talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's got to be in Denver pretty early. GM. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I'm so sorry, kid. But Do you, man. if I have the option to say something, I'm going <laughs> to say something. Check homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche. No. Good to meet you. Yeah, same. No, See you around. no, no, fuck. It's so weird seeing you do the dad thing. Oh, the fuck. Thing? No, That's the plot. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> For sure. We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Buddy. Oh. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. Oh, He trusted please. me to keep his secret. No. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Okay, look. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's the first big choice. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Look, okay. On a normal day, I'd be like, yeah, keep the kid secret. But this is a thing of safety. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure they're doing stuff in the mines today. I'm so sorry. I have to say something. Oh, please. Don't. I'm so sorry, Ethan. I, I would love... I know you're going to be mad, but I don't want you to die. I'm so sorry. Uh, hm? I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking... He mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. Yes. <sighs> this fucking kid. Okay. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Okay, let's, let's, let's calm first. Let's... Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Oh. Uh... Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You did the right thing. I feel bad, though. I feel so bad, because he's... What do you he's, say we get you set up I want him to trust me, and I know that's gonna, like... From a kid's mentality, that's a very, like, you betrayed my trust, now he's not gonna tell me things. But also, I don't want you to die. <laughs> oh, damn it. Fuck. Oh, so, I, I hope I did the right thing. This is what a mining town looks like. Fuck. <laughs> Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. Oh, I feel bad. Fuck. I mean, he doesn't have to get in trouble. What he didn't actually go, right? Though. Used to be silver uh. back in the day. <laughs> and now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, whoa. Well. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. See, I, I'm... I'm Sounds I think like I did the right thing. Look who it is. Jed. So hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. I'm assuming your boss. Bloody hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. <laughs> I love him You're already. Black Lantern. What's up, For Jed? the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. What are there? I know a lot about you. Oh? Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. <laughs> your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. Ha. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> just about? Oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. Damn. I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill mm -hmm. you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. <laughs> I'm loquacious, <laughs> goddammit. It's charming. Loquacious? What the oh, fuck does that mean, Jed? Before you leave, <laughs> word of warning. Mac's got that old bug up his ass again. I'm not liking so this Mac guy, yeah. Mac guy so, so... Just, you know, eyes open. Mm. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, That's the third. That's the third. Oh, mind, Jed. Suspicious thing I've heard about this Mac guy. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. <laughs> not possible. I'm picturing some straight-up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. <laughs> I love that. Oh, you've been before. The Black Lantern. Yeah, it. this is running so much more smooth since I turned off Ray Tracy. <laughs> I don't think my computer can handle it. <laughs> Yay. How wholesome. I hope nothing goes wrong. I really hope I made the right choice with Ethan. Oh, one of those crappy parts. It, it's not even a crappy part. It's 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 great actually. Oh, this is nice. Shit, uh, man. When you make big choices like that, you won't often won't see the consequences until later. So even if I did have the anxious thing of wanting to go back and redo my choice, it would be too far. <laughs> this is all yours. Don't sound so surprised. Yeah, this is nice, dude. Best you could do. It's really nice. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is great. Yeah. And the best part is, it's actually yours. What? I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Oh, that's awesome. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, 
I, I love it. Gabe, I oh. love it. Good. The way I, I would have just started crying. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. Huh. Or maybe you're the best. <laughs> or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel <laughs> or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. That's awesome. What's up? Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? <laughs> it's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Is that, a, is that a good thing? Do I look how you expected? <laughs> didn't expect the beard. I feel like that's a good thing to say. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, well, they didn't <laughs> tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. <laughs> Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry. I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. I hope you get to like a fake, fake Good, beard. Because <laughs> I actually got you something. Oh, cute. Wait. What? I think. Surprise. <laughs> Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, oh. <laughs> I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Ah, I'm so worried about the copyrighted music. <laughs> it's probably fine. We'll just talk through it and hope that everything is fine. We're talking through it. Wow, I am so bad at improv uh, conversations, boogieing. But I can't do this if we get. To, I don't know what to do. <laughs> boogie. You gotta have a. You have a good. Have a good boogie scene in Life is Strange. What are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? Stop. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> I can't. Go get him. Encourage it. Go get him. <laughs> yeah. Boogie. Oh yeah, go get him, bro. This is the this is the 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 calm before the storm. You know? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Your turn. Here's how it's done. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute! <laughs> oh, I love a good, wholesome re sibling relationship. Yeah! I hope I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> it's probably gonna be fine. You haven't lost a beat! Yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck. We're in trouble. Turn down the music! Um, careful not to answer it. Just give me a sec. Is it Mac? Yeah! Uh, is it like a, f is it like a big flash or? Oh God, now I'm like panicking. Is it like a gunshot? Oh God, it's probably fine. We'll see how it goes. I'm assuming that's Mac. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. Something is very wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Oh, no. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got oh, it all no. wrong. Oh, Tell no. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right <sighs> now. No. 
No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking. Whoa. 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 Tackle him. Do something. Whoa. Throw something at him. Go. Get him. Stay. Stay. The fuck. The fuck. Away from her. Away from him. Go. Yeah. Kick him again. Kick him in the dick. Okay, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Whoa, 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 I was just kidding. Calm down. Oh, shit. Alex, 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 chill, 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 Alex. Alex, stop! Stop! Oh, no, 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 no! Gabe, I didn't... It's okay. Oh... Psycho. Seriously? You could both go fuck yourself. Kiss my ass. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Oh. Oh. Oh, Alex. Fuck. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. Don't leave her alone. I gotta go stop my shift. No, don't. She's gonna... No. You have to reassure her. Ah, Great. But we were having such a good time. Ah. Now I'm just sad. <laughs> that wasn't her fault. Alex, just play it off as 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 don't to sh not show anyone your your powers. Play it off as just trauma growing up in the foster system. I'm okay. You're okay, buddy. Oh, is she crying? Oh, she's crying. Oh. It's not your fault, though. I'm okay. You're okay. I'm okay. It's not your fault. <laughs> I guess I might as well unpack. Ryan. Hey, Alex. I'm surprised the word hasn't spread yet. <laughs> it was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking to talking more later. Nice meeting you, too. Sounds good. Poor baby girl. <laughs> That's so sad. Attached to the object? Oh... But it looks like Mr. John Chin left in Miguel County. Find the crack. Six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> he kicked the wall. Wait, what was he looking for? I was too busy reading like three different things. Gabe was still trying to find dad when he got here. Oh, to find dad. What happened to... I just kind of assumed that their parents were dead. What do you mean, find dad? Greetings from Mexico. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Uh, 
All right. I can't figure out which font is worse. <laughs> it's just, I think this one's better. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get rid. I'll never get tired tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. Ah, I see. So that's probably why Alex didn't live with him. Sure, you told me to. to sure, you told me to go to fuck off three times. But I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentioned. Don't forget it. Oh, mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Love, Len. Gabe Chen. Hmm. Let's see. Now that we know we got... Oh, can I actually play it? I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. How did he get this up here? Let's do it. Let's do one. We'll do one. <laughs> Minigame, Steph. Ethan. Space to jump. Sure. Climb, drop down, avoid ghosts and minecarts. Okay. Uh... I got this. Is this Donkey Kong? This looks like Donkey Kong. <laughs> wow. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Hoo. Ha. I'm focusing way too hard for this. Do you think I can beat the high score? <laughs> Who is- I think Gabe's was the high score, right? Oh, uh, I was gonna be like, yeah, show him who's boss, and I'm just like, I don't know if I want to make him more mad or upset. Now I'm just sad again. <laughs> follow them if you follow them. Hey, oh god, uh, 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 fuck. I don't want to talk about it. How do I, how am I supposed to make that jump, bro? What? Fuck, dicks. I don't... Alright, I'm over it. I'll get the high score another time. <laughs> Poster. Gabe looks like he fits right in. I want to look at the picture more. Uh, this doesn't look important to read. Ice cream social. Yo, I want ice cream. I want to look at the... I want to look at the picture. Board game. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. <laughs> Oops. Oh right, I forgot I could do that. Let's make sure you got nothing else. Okay. Uh, can I go upstairs? No. What are the stairs for? Maybe like an attic or something. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Maybe like an Gabe attic or something. Always wanted a bike like this. Hmm. Well, it looks like you got it. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Sword. Is that a sword? Fuck yeah, it is. Dude, if I could buy a real sword, I would. I want to buy, like, character swords. It'd be so cool. We didn't even get to finish the song. Damn, I was about to say, I'm like, this is going to be so sad. I'm like, please don't say something sad. Probably, uh, what's her face? Charlotte. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize wow. he meant, like, professionally. That's really good, yeah. <laughs> I could never make something so personal. Don't worry, buddy. I'm playing as you. You're gonna be honest with your feelings. <laughs> what an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. <laughs> Let her leave him alone! Um... Yeah, why is he meeting Riley on the... Yeah, what was that about? I wonder. I obviously know it's not about what Mac thought it was about, but I just want to know what it was about. Oops. Can I... Hello? Oof. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? I don't like that. <laughs> Foosball champion. Make sure there's nothing else around here. Up. Oh. Why? Do, why does this keep happening? Oof. Holy shit! It looks like Gabe actually read this. Oh, that's cute. Responsibility: parenting your independent child. Oh, four is the most important. Let's discuss it over wine. I love you. That's so cute. <laughs> Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. That's really cute. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. No. Uh, my pictures? Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together <laughs> in front of him and Steph. It's not your fault. So, ow. I wonder how it works. So, obviously she could feel Steph's anger. What do you think would have happened? Because Mac was like murderous intent. Like he was... Beating, he was beating up Gabe. So, but, but Steph wasn't like, ang like beating up anyone. So, do you, what do you think would have happened with Alex? Hmm. Broadcasting straight from your local <laughs> record store. Because how fucking cool is that? I mean, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure. Obviously, we don't know anything about her powers yet, so we'll we'll get f as we get further into it, we'll figure out more. I'm surprised there's no emotion attached to the little statue. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Rut row. Riley's letter has anger attached to it. That seems important, so let's look at that last. Oh, yeah. Especially because it's, it's fucking lighting up like that. Oh my god, why is that... Why does that keep doing that? Oh, fuck. Does that progress it? I better not progress it. Back up. Hold on. Unpack, shoo shoo. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Whoa. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Kind of. Interact with the just Customize Alex's outfit. Did the DLC... Uh, did I... Yo! Hell yeah. Let's change. <laughs> ah! That's... That's a... Uh, that's one of Chloe's shirts. I kind of like that one. Hmm. But I also do like the red because I'm just very much a red person. Um. Was that the last one? I forget. Nope, that was the last one. Hmm. Oh, the urge to dress her as, like, Chloe. <laughs> nah, she's her own person. She's her own character. I kind of like that one. I like this one. <laughs> this one's cute. Alright, let's take a look. Alex? Why... Alex? Do I want to know? He's not giving me a choice, so... It's... Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oregon Department of Human Services, Child Welfare Offices. Loretta Vance, Program Manager, Child Welfare. Unable to release location, try Program Director at Amy at, and then blah, blah, blah. Alex placed a group home, group home in Portland area. Oh, wow. She jumped, she, so she jumped around a lot. Sunnyside Valley home, blah, 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 Helping Hands group home. 
Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We're, we are glad to see you're doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system, and we don't know where she lives now. Here is the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Line only available third Wednesday of month. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Um, here's, a, oh yeah, uh, Oregon Child Protective Services, Try Human Service, Services Child Welfare. We wish you luck in finding her. Best, the Morales is. Wow, Gabe's been looking for me for a while. It's actually really cute, like, uh, like, not cute, but like, bittersweet, maybe? It's, it's wholesome and cute to see the effort he put into finding her it's sad that he had to do it in the first place <laughs> nope a dude <laughs> got got through not her automated voice file follow up old number now some no dude named adam <laughs> sad All right, let's, uh, should we read it first? Let's, actually, let's see the emotions first. Bry, I'm telling you, his story doesn't to Riley. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Riley? It's time to drop him, preferably on his head. <laughs> so Mac was reading Riley's text? Boyfriend of the year. Yeah, you didn't get that off the first fucking thing we learned about him from fucking Riley? <laughs> Yikes. Miss Leith? Leith? Your application for CIT's 2019 summer programming launch pad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward in to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Gabe, ah, it's happening. Please, please, please help me prep. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> well, it's it, like sad that... Uh, Riley, drop... That guy is not good. <laughs> I really hope that I didn't fuck up her interview thing. <laughs> um, okay, I think we looked at everything. So, let's unpack... Let's unpack Shushu. Oh, God. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this <laughs> nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but... I was... Hoping we were done with that. Sweetheart, that's not how it works. <laughs> you can't, if you can't move away from your problems. <laughs> You've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? Oh. I really hope he's not too mad at me. He's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. <laughs> Let's see. The tunnel to to the monster stronghold of Demonhem collapsed. I'll have I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the uniform of the city guard long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here, useless unless hollow. Aha, uh -huh. he m might have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent and must have crashed. Wait, it must have crashed through the ceiling. Uh, perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent. But you may still be of use to me. Whoa, I don't think skeletons are that sturdy, but sure. 
That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. <laughs> Cute. I hope he's not too mad at me. <laughs> what are those? Letters, maybe? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, why does it keep doing that? Hmm. I never heard back from Sydney. Sydney? I hope she's okay. Hey, Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay, and now he's harassing me. I don't like that that's a theme, and that makes me so upset to think about that's probably real. <laughs> like, that happens in real life, and I don't. That makes me so icky. It makes me feel icky. Ugh, that's so sad. Also, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Burnside. The su supervisor's a... The supervisor's a racist and... Oh, the supervisor's a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. Anyway, hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you f remember when you fucked her up? LOL. Miss your dumbass. XO, Cinny. Hmm. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting. It was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. It's sad. I really wish those meds had worked. Ah, uh, I see. Why do you still have this? Lynn. Hmm. I don't know what medication that is. Chelsea. The rare bright Chelsea. spot from my time in the group home. Why is there an A at the end? <laughs> Dear Alex, happy birthday. There's Here's hoping you're having an absolute fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sunup to sundown. Real talk, though. I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I've felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you and being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes, even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. Um. Hmm. I wonder why she kept the prescription. Oops, not that button, fuck. Hmm. Is it unpack photo, I think? Ah, but she cut out her parents. Crazy how much we've changed. Hmm. Hmm. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. Yeah. Just thought I'd check, just to make sure. Let's see. Unpack journal. I mean, I think we already read through it, right? My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Ah, so that's what it's for. Poor thing. You know, it's so interesting because it's like... How do you think... Like... 
they never address how like Max or Alex or well, I don't know. We haven't played this game in whole yet, but um, we don't we don't know how uh, Max got her powers. They never address it, which is like fine. It's just it's always interesting to me. Oh, so I see. So that's who that's who she got the feeling from. Interesting. Okay. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door, like something was slipping under the, fr under the frame. Something red. Something raw. Then there's Mac, and that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know what I'm... When I know I'm losing control, and no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body w has already made the choice to hurt someone, and it's going to happen, and no one can make me stop. Max's anger felt hot and dizzy, and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. Red rage relief. The thought of her with someone else, the thought of her with anyone else. It was under his skin, burning. That feeling, like hot cords grinding around, grinding around behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over. When your ears stop ringing, and your heart slows down from, from hummingbird to lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief to be... Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? These threads that bind us up, they burn and weave. Inside my ribs, they hurt until you leave. Seethe, breathe, leave. Oh, I think, okay. So my first initial understanding of this was she was feeling something be from a friend because it said mentioned oppression. And then the two bottles of sed sedatives laying in vomit. I thought they were talking about, like, suicide. Like, one of her friends committed suicide. But it doesn't look like that. From rereading this now, after reading Max and seeing everything that happened. I think that she stopped talking to Isabel because Isabel was depressed. And she could feel it. And it was getting to her. Which is why she said, I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends. When we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen, I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. So, two bottles of sedatives. Did she take the sedatives just so that way she didn't feel what Isabel was feeling? Her eyes open and glassy and afraid. I don't know why I'm so confused about this one. I think that's what I'm thinking. That's really fucking sad. Jesus. Poor thing. Ugh. I'll finish this later. That's fair. Lay down. You've had a ha, you've had a day. I'm gonna just take a nap. <clears throat> oh. Alex, here's a little something to... No fucking way. Uh, now I feel even worse. Here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. Now I'm just... Now I feel even worse. <laughs> Ooh, this is sad. <laughs> Well, why Alex, she stopped playing. You just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. But it's not your fault. So, how are you feeling right now?
video head, I think. She's crying. She's crying again. Alex, baby girl, no. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. I want to give her a hug. <laughs> <clears throat> Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. Yay, uh, except uh, how are you going to do that? Because uh, that could either be a yay or we're going to go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Yay. <laughs> Woo. We deal with our problems. We don't run from them, Alex. Yes. <laughs> uh, my heart.